Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing with some fun papers from my Killer Kit with Style. I brought out my Mickey Head Punch, which I am really excited to use. Love this bad boy. And I also have some flair. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I've trimmed down my photos because I want to place them across the page but I don't want them to be touching and I don't want them to span the entire 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So they are about three and a half by five and a half inches, I want to say. So, or three by five inches, three by five and a half, something like that. I am trimming down this pink cardstock to three and a quarter by whatever uh, the photo is. What am I doing? Five and three quarters. So they must be three by five and a half photos since I'm doing the photo mask three and a quarter by five and three quarters. What that is going to do is give me a nice thin pink mat all the way around my photos. Now these photos are going to be popped up on some fun foam just because I want a little bit of dimension on the page. I don't want anything ridiculous or crazy uh, but I do want um, a little bit of lift off of this yellow wish paper. So my original thought was to have these three photos kind of pyramided like they were just right there. Um, but I end up changing that up a little bit and going for kind of just some wonky stripes of paper. So I have this uh, striped paper and this is a basic, no it's not, this is a Vicky Booten paper. I wanted to say it was basic gray, but it's not. Now, I do believe Vicki Booten used to design for basic gray back in the day, or she was on their design team, or something similar. Uh, I don't remember which one exactly. Now, the one uh, striped piece right there is a little bit long, um, and I don't realize it until a little bit later, but I do fix it so that each of the striped pieces are the same. Now, I was going to cut down this scalloped paper and then, of course, do my scalloped edge like I like to do with scalloped papers, but ultimately I decided against that. I decided instead to grab this strip of pink paisley paper that I had in uh, the kit. It's just a strip, it's what le what is left. And I'm going to trim this to one and a half inch strips, and then I'm gonna go ahead and overlap them on the striped paper. Um, I just felt like the stripes and the dots and everything it was just starting to get a little bit this is this this is this this is this and I wanted to kind of bring that all together so that it was one cohesive thought I wish you could see my hand motions while I'm talking to you guys because then the this is this would make a whole heck of a lot more sense so I'm trying to figure out how I want to stack these bad boys and this is where I decide that I'm going to overlap the, data, the dotted paper with the striped paper. Yes, I am the weirdo that took selfies of themselves eating a Mickey head ice cream. So in our family, we have a tradition when we eat uh, Mickey head ice creams at Disney, we take pictures of everyone either about to bite or in the process of biting their Mickey head ice cream. And even though this was a solo trip, I decided to do the same. And then of course I shot off the selfie uh, to my family. So here I am using the fun foam on top or on the back of the photos. Don't put the fun foam on top of your photos. Probably won't get the same effect. You know what I'm saying? So now I have that and I'm going to overlap the dotted uh, pieces of paper and trim them off. Now this is completely random. I'm not measuring it so that they aren't all the same exact length. It's just kind of what I think might look Good. Um, and then you can see by my off cuts, they all weren't uh, particularly one length, and that's okay. So now I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on the back of the fun foam here, uh, and that way I can go ahead and get these things in place. Now I did only did do only one line of adhesive because I wasn't exactly sure if the photos were going to land exactly where I wanted them to. Um, I just wasn't sure what was going where. 
I didn't want anything lining up. I didn't want the photos lining up with each other and I didn't want the little cubes of color lining up with each other. So I'm kind of moving things around and now I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do to fill in these gaps and how I'm going to incorporate the Mickey head punch because I definitely want the punch to be on this layout. So I have this sheet of some sort of simple stories paper. Um, so I'm just going to cut out three Mickey heads with the punch and then I'm going to overlap them on these colorful blocks as well. Now I do make the decision to pop up the Mickey heads. Originally I was going to put the flare with the Mickey heads um, but then I was like mm, it's too much circle on circle and you kind of lose the fact that these are actual Mickey heads. Um, so I'm still going to use the flare on here. Uh, not that Germany one with the kielbasa because this has nothing to do with Germany or kielbasa. Um, but, you know, I will figure that out here shortly. So I figure out which flare I want to use and I know that it's going to go in these gaps. So I figure something else is going to have to go in those gaps with the flare. Um, but I'll figure that out after I pop up the Mickey heads. So I am using the fun foam and I cut a couple thin little strips to place on the ears and then a little bit of a rectangle for the mouse body. I am going to overlap them on these colorful blocks and I'm just trying to figure out where I think the best placement is. So I don't want the blocks to all be the exact same even though I'm using the same elements on them. I want them to have a little bit of a different feel um, and that way that's going to give the entire layout kind of this not so structured and rigid layout. Now since this is very grid and blocked I did want to kind of introduce that level of fun um, so that it isn't just full of rigidity. I mean this is a Disney layout. It's a Mickey head ice cream layout. It's got to be fun. It just can't be, you know, mm, block layout. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out where, where they are going to go. And then I have found that these uh, fun foam, if you cut them down into squares or even a rectangle, they are the perfect uh, fit for inside of these flares. Now these are um, dotty about flare and the fun foam is the perfect fit to go ahead and give it um, something to stick to. Now I went ahead and dug through and found some washi tape and I figured I've got all of these colors going on here I might as well add a little bit more. So I'm just going to tear the washi tape and I will have three lines of this washi tape um, here on these blocked areas. So now I'm going to put down the flares right over top of the washi and I made sure to put the flares opposite their Mickey head. So uh, I mean since the flare is on the left hand side here and the Mickey head is on the right, um, when my Mickey head is on the left the flare goes on the right. I just want it a little bit of opposite uh, things going on. So now I'm looking at this and I'm like I need to add some decoration. The Mickey heads need something on them to kind of you know give them a little bit of a pow. Um, so I have these red uh, word phrase stickers from Pretty Little Studio and these are romantical and love word phrase stickers but I find three of them that will work so that I can just overlap them on the Mickey heads. And just that tiny little bit of red uh, over top of the two different kind of teal blue colors just gives it a whole uh, level of popishness. I don't know what to call it. it. Just It just lifts that Mickey head off the page so it doesn't kind of sink down into the colors anymore. Now I figure, you know, I'm starting to decorate with words, so I should probably decorate with some more words. So I pull out my Tim Holtz uh, Small Talk sticker book. I've had this thing for ages. Um, and I decide to go for the white uh, phrases with the black lettering and I'm going to overlap them on the washi tapes. 
So I get that down there and I'm like, yes, I am loving this. I'm decorating with words. And then I'm like, oh, cripes. I don't really have a place for a title yet. And then I decide, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about that right now. You know what I'm going to worry about? Adding a little bit of texture. So I have these rhinestone stickers. Um, these came from Hobby Lobby. And I just cut them down so that the little rhinestone stickers will go across the polka dotted uh, piece of paper. And I just pull off the sticky back and tap that down onto the papers. And that just gives me a little extra something that isn't a paper layer uh, on this layout. Because basically everything is paper. I even the stickers except for the flare badges now and these little rhinestone stickers. So I was feeling like, you know, a lot of paper, need something else, need a little bit of texture of something else on this page uh, besides paper. So now I am looking at this and I'm loving it. Like this is, I think this is a super fun layout. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the brightness. Um, but I still need something else. Now chipboard basically is paper as well, uh, but it's a little bit of enough of something different that's got a little bit more dimension to it. So I feel like um, I'm adding extra bits to the page that I didn't have to worry about before. Now I was looking for three kind of speech bubble chipboards because that one flare badge is a speech bubble. I'm not the biggest fan of speech bubbles, but I was going to embrace it. Um, and instead, I decide to cut off the speech bubble little hangy downy thingies. And I'm basically ignoring the fact that the flare badge has a speech bubble on it. Um, and that's fine. So now I'm just going to adhere uh, these little chipboard pieces down. And I decide to move the fun one because even though uh, I love it, I don't want it to say it's time for fun and fun right next to each other. So kind of, you know, move those around a little bit. So now I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, let's add even more uh, things that are not paper. So I grab these enamel shapes. Um, there are hearts, stars, and dots. And I'm just going to put a heart uh, kind of in each little cluster and I'm going to put a dot uh, and a star. So I'm just kind of, you know, adding little pops of color with these little enamel shapes. And that way it's giving your eye something to bounce around on um, for the colors. And it's also giving uh, your eye something different to look at besides paper, uh, which I was really, really trying to get on here that wasn't paper. Now I'm thinking about adding in some other stuff. I'm looking through my little embellishments here and then I'm like, you know what? You're gonna need a title. So I thought I would try my Vicki Booten sticker book to see if there was anything in here I could use as a title. Ultimately, I decide that there is not. Uh, and then I'm gonna try out some other stickers to see if there's anything in there I can use as a title for this. And I'm like, I've decorated so much with words that any of these little word phrases could be the title, but I feel like I still want, you know, another word on the page to give me a title. So I end up going with these white uh, thickers that my friend Sharon gave me at retreat. And I figure since I have the word wish so many times in the background, I decide that this would be a great title up here at the top and it fits perfectly on that little bit of washi tape. So that is gonna do it for this layout, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I do post every single day. Um, and then uh, ring the bell if you want notifications, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.